Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. This is kind of a different episode. Um, the other day, one of our followers had asked me how we package our larger paintings to ship. So I was like, okay, I can do that. I can show you guys. And then interestingly enough, somebody contacted me and wanted to buy this piece. So I thought, well, that's perfect. We can pack it up in front of you guys <laughs> and you guys can see exactly how I do it from start to finish. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how I pack a 24 by 36 for shipping. Um, this one was Waves of Fire and we painted it about six months ago and uh, it's completely dry. It does have a coat of varnish on it and it's ready to go. So this is how it's been sitting on my drying shelves and I'm going to show you what I do first. The very first thing that I do is take the tape off. So this is that, I say I have my push pins in and my tape on. This is what I'm talking about, painter's tape. And if you take this off sooner, it's a little easier but it's not hard at all, it just comes right off. And this just keeps the wood nice and pretty, so it's nice and clean on the back side. I'll probably speed this part up for you. <laughs> If it's stubborn tape, you can also take a hair dryer and just warm it up a little bit and it should come off easier, but it comes off pretty easy. So that's that. I should have said this first. You do want to make sure before you're working with any of your artwork that you're working on a clean work surface, that there's no dirt or dust or debris, anything paint <laughs> might be wet so okay so then the next thing you want to do is just take a dry paper towel just one and just wipe down the surface of it make sure there's no dust on it or any cat hair or human hair or anything <laughs> see there's a little bit of dust on it so okay so now that that step is done I'm gonna flip it over again and this is where I sign my paintings so I have a bronze colored Sharpie actually, because the gold one that I had wasn't showing up as well, and I actually prefer this. So we find the top of the painting, in this case is here, and I'm just gonna flip it over so it's like that. And I'm, I sign it usually on the wood and on the canvas also. So let's see, let's sign this one. This is Waves of Fire. signature is there and I usually sign it on the crossbar as well. Okay, there we go. So that part is done. All right, now let's put that down there for just a second. We get this stuff. Let me show you everything else that you're going to need just so you know what everything is. This is blasting paper. It's very similar to parchment paper, but it's thin, but it's non-stick. So this will not stick to your artwork. You want to, of course, make sure this is your artwork is dry and has been dry for a while before you start putting paper or bubble wrap or anything on it. So this is glassine paper. You also need some scissors, some clear packing tape. I like the brown paper plasticky tape for the outside of the box. Um, some regular scotch tape type thing is good. We're going to be using some cardboard corner protectors and I have some Air Plus. I get these from all the stuff we order from Amazon. I just keep a box full of them. And then we're also going to be using bubble wrap. So, and then I have a 24 by 36 inch box that I actually got this from U-Haul and uh, I cut the side and I turned it inside out so all the writing is on the inside now instead of the outside. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is get our glassy. So I'm going to roll this out to about there. And we're going to take our painting and we're going to put him face down on the glassy. And I'm going to fold this edge over. Some tape and pull it tight. 
and I put this on the wood and push it down in there on both sides. Be nice and tight. Okay. My sister-in-law were here, she'd yell at me to put one in the middle too. So we'll do that for her. Okay, so now how do I to turn this this way so we can see? Alright, so now this part I do just wrapping like wrapping a present. I push the edges in. You could trim this a little bit, but I'm not gonna bother. Push that in there. want to make sure that there's no wrinkles on the other side of the paper, on the canvas side of this painting. There's some wrinkle or something over here where the frame is. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing over here. Put it in from the middle. got our glassine paper on and now what we're going to do is we're going to use our corner cardboard corner protectors and I like these things a lot because in case your box gets damaged or dropped or something hopefully the corners won't get all mashed up so these actually come flat and you just fold them up depending on what thickness you're using and they just slide right on there just like that nice and easy So we get our corner protectors on all four sides. And then we get into the bubble wrap. Okay. And the nice thing about having these is you can also tape the bubble wrap to them so you don't have to tape to the paper. Okay, this is the part where I might look really uncoordinated. <laughs> that uncoordinated. Well, not yet. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> okay. All right. So important thing, you don't want the raised bubble part to be 
touching the canvas. So you want to have the bubbles out. So you want the flat side of the bubble wrap touching the canvas part. Very important because you don't want a lot of pressure causing <laughs> bubble wrap imprints on your canvas. That would be really bad. So what I usually do, they usually have this this way. Have it folded over so that the flat, the bubble side is down. And then I put the painting on top of there. And I start with one side. Put your corner on there. Okay. And I like to have it so that I can tape it to that cardboard corner. Right there. And then this is where this clear 3M packing tape comes in. It's very handy. Just tape it right on there onto the rest of the glassing nozzle. Okay? And then we roll. And I do leave a little bit on the side. like three ring circuits here. Okay, so I want the first one straight and then after that I start to curve it a little bit. And again, you don't want any wrinkles on the canvas side, so you want to make sure that's flat. This side, it doesn't matter if there's some wrinkles because you can gather it up and then tape it again, but that side you want to make sure that it's flat. Ooh, this way. I lost a corner. <laughs> I'll get it. This way. See? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> and I do like to put a lot of bubble wrap on there. Better safe than sorry. I don't know how the mail is where you guys are, but occasionally <laughs> I've gotten some packages that look like they played rugby with them. Okay. I do like to put the corner catchers underneath the bubble wrap. Hmm? Corner catchers. Corner protectors. Don't want any wrinkles on this side. Okay. Let me find the perforation, which is right here. Same thing. Actually, on the sides of these, you just sort of tuck the corners in a little bit. Same gift wrapping sort of style. And then I roll them up a little bit. Just a little bit of added protection on the side. scotch tape for this part because it doesn't stick to the bubble wrap very, very, very well.
somewhere in the middle. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. So now that's two layers of protection on your canvas. So that's pretty good. Um, occasionally I will put another layer, depending. Um, but you don't always have to. I mean, the boxes are pretty sturdy nowadays if it's something super, super fragile or super, super expensive and you don't want to take any chances, by all means, use more bubble wrap. But this is looking pretty good so far. So we're going to take this and put this over here. I'm going to show you my box. Um, I buy boxes from a couple of different places. Most often I get them from Uline, which is awesome because they usually deliver them to your doorstep the next day, which is really, really great. This particular size, a 24 by 36 size canvas, this is actually a mirror box from U-Haul. Uh, it's actually telescoping, so if you have a really long mirror, you use two of them, and they telescope in and out. But this is just one. Um, I don't like all of the, I don't know if you can see in there, all of the <laughs> writing <laughs> that's on there. So I cut the box on the side and I flipped it outside in. And now this is, was the inside, but it's a nice plain brown box. So, okay, so this is wrapped up nice. It's got the parchment, the uh, glassine paper on it, and now it's got a layer of bubble wrap and it's got our corner protectors on there. So now we take our box, which is standing by, and we just slide it into the box. Make a nice big envelope. Okay, so now that is fitting in there great. There's a little bit room on one side of it which is where these come in. Let's see, just put a few of them in there. I would not put them on the canvas side. I would put them on the back side of the canvas, just in case. You don't need a lot of them. Okay, so now the corners on these, this side are not all cut. So I'm gonna do that real quick. thing I do with this is I take a piece of this and I cut it to the right size and I go across this way first and pull that really tight do the same on the other side okay so now that's sealed that's closed at this point but we definitely want to seal up this edge too in here. I can't actually close it. Okay. <laughs> so the thing that I forgot to show you is usually I enclose a nice greeting card thanking the client for their purchase and saying something nice about the painting itself and, you know, wishing them joy. <laughs> and I enclose a couple of business cards as well. And I put that usually in underneath the bubble wrap. So I'll just show you this one just for now. So this just comes in here. Make sure everything's nice and tight. And you set this up. I'm going to take the box and just put a card in it. But your box is now sealed. And you do want to go over any corners or edges that are sharp or you feel like might open. You don't want anything sharp or loose hanging. So I would go ahead and put more tape around the sides and edges. And then you put your either your shipping label on there or you write the address on there or however you want it. Um, in terms of who to ship with, a lot of people use US Postal Service. That's awesome if that's what you like. Personally, I really like using FedEx. I have their app on my phone. I have an account with them. So it's very easy for me to open up the app, get a shipping quote, and find out how much it's going to cost right away just based on the customer's address and zip code. And then I print out a label and I stick it on the box. I usually do write their name and address and my name and address on there also. You do want a nice presentation when you're sending out your artwork. 
You want it to look professional, you want it to look clean. So this is the basics of how I do it. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, again, I like the brown reinforced packing tape. Uh, this one is by IPG, Intertape Polymer Group. Um, and it's nice and sturdy and thick and sticky. And it doesn't peel off very, very easily. I like the Scotch 3M shipping tape for the other stuff. You can also use this on the outside. I just like the brown because I think it makes it look cleaner. I need some scissors. That's glassine paper. I will link it for you on Amazon, in the description box. I got it from Amazon. Uh, bubble wrap. Where'd it go? It's down there. <laughs> like un unrolled itself. Um, and what else? These, uh, you know, save these things, these air packs, air plus, because it, it really does, it's nice to, you know, I'm not worried about something having too much space in here and it's gonna rattle around inside the box. So that's pretty much it for how I wrap up my stuff to ship. I hope this was helpful for you guys. And uh, this will be going out to Angel very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. I hope this answered some questions for you and um, showed you how I do things. If you have any more questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments and I will address all of them. Thank you so much. I hope you have a beautiful day. I'll see you soon.